Hello everybody, it's me, Ned, on another lovely Maine summer day. Um, it's a beautiful 60 degrees, it's been raining, that's thunder out there, it's not the train tracks, but I have a lovely summer wine here. This is Cola Capretta Lautizio. Um, this is 100% Chile Giolo from Umbria, from this little tiny town, Terzo La Pieve, outside of Spoleto. It's made by the Mattioli family. Um, Vittorio Mattioli, his daughter Annalisa does the, the winemaking now. And I love this label. Like there's nothing flashy or fancy or anything or like advertising. Like the label, the only thing that's on there is just a complete explanation of this wine in Italian. Um, it says that it's Chile, Gio Chile Giolo from vines that were 15 to 50 years old. The must fermented for seven days. Is that, wait, six days um, on the skins with wild yeast in an open tank, no temperature control. Uh, then it spent Svinato e Mezzo in una botte di acciaio. So it went into uh, it went into an acacia wood barrel where it rested all winter. Um, something about it was a particular, it was a good vintage. The Vendemia, il vino a subito, un solo travasso dopo l'eliminazione delle fecce grosse. So they uh, racked it to take it off of like the heavy, the heavy leaves, the fecce grosse. Um, and then they bottled it directly uh, with the lunar calendar, uh, la luna, or, okay, with la, la luna calante di, de primi di marzo. So the, I don't know what that is, the, the new moon, the new moon, the first new moon in March. Anyway, I'm going to drink it. It's delicious. So um, they really, the Mattioli's, They've been here for generations and they've never changed what they do. They're extremely, they call themselves contadini. They, they're not like, oh, we're fancy winemakers. They're like, you know, they're like peasants and they're proud of being from here and, you know, that they've taken care of this land and this place for so, so long. Um, so the wine varies a fair amount vintage to vintage because they're not trying to drastically change it they're just sort of going with what the environment gave them so 2015 and 2017 were both really hot dry years and the vines didn't produce a whole lot of grapes so those vintages the wine was really concentrated and like 14 14 and a half percent alcohol 2018 was a great year, but it was more like productive, cooler. It was a better growing season for the vines. The vines produced a lot more grapes. So this vintage is 12 and a half percent alcohol. And still, uh, so Chile Giolo, the name of the grape is a derivation of the Italian word for cherries, the name for, name for cherries. And it's a grape that's always extremely juicy and like exuberant and sort of cherry flavored. It smells like just really, really intense, fresh crushed, like raspberry or blackberry juice on the palate, on the nose. That's what I'm using right now to smell the wine, my nose. But it's really, um, it's really intense. It's a really like dark, juicy fruit sort of aroma, almost like it almost smells like reduced, like cooked fruit, like a compote or like a blackberry, blueberry, raspberry sort of pie, something like that. It's very juicy, really lively. It has this nice, it's not super tannic. It's just a little dry, a little grippy, but it has this like saltiness too to it. Uh-oh, I, I hear the train crossing guard. There's a train coming that may interrupt this video. I'm hanging out on the train tracks, essentially. Mm. 
So I'm drinking it with a little bit of a chill. It's really, really like vivacious. It's juicy, but it's like dark, concentrated, sort of like blackberry, black raspberry fruit. And it has just that little bit of like spice, that little like hint of wild pepperiness that you get eating like really ripe, fresh like blackberries. It's like, I'd call it like a tiny bit brambly. But it is so pure and like juicy and lovely. It's a very, very clear, like honest, beautiful red wine. Um, it's full on, I mean, look at that color. It's full on red wine. It's very deep, but there's just, there's this like uplifting energy, this like this vivaciousness to this wine that makes it a fantastic summer red wine. And that's why I'm drinking it with a chill, even though it's fucking raining right now because it, it's all it's been doing this season, this spring, summer in Maine, is it just, it's cold and rainy. Um, but even so, I'm still drinking it with a chill because it's fantastic. And that's also partially why it's in a clear glass bottle here. Mm. So it's badass. They made 4,927 bottles. Um, you should go get some because it's really, really lovely, juicy, vivid, like just wine that's full of life that just makes you feel good about, even though it's cold and rainy and I'm soaked uh, because I just pulled the truck out of the mud in the rain, it still makes me feel good about life because it's a beautiful, lovely, wonderful, like fun, um, vivid wine that's alive. So go drink this.